now, if you don't feel like spending much time in the kitchen tonight, we have got the man for you. Yes, Glaswegian chef Jimmy Lee <laughs> has become an online sensation for his 60-second Chinese meals. And today he's joining us with more super speedy recipes. And the first one you're doing, is this the most popular dish in the restaurant? It's the most popular dish in the restaurant in Glasgow in Scotland. It's the Hong Kong sweet and sour chicken. Oh, my God, yummy. <laughs> Do a lot of people just come down to see you, though? Some people, just to take a selfie with me. Uh, get a salt and chilli chicken, Hong Kong sweet and sour chicken. Right, I'm diving in. Right. You show us how to make this. Yo, know, this is an easy dish to make, guys. So for today's dish, mm. we've got some chopped chicken. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's chopped and basically we just season it with some salt, season it with some pepper. And then we're going to put it in the glue. The glue? The glue? The glue is a beaten egg. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, you just stick it into the beaten egg. So that acts like a glue, and it goes into the, the potato starch, which um, crisps up the chicken when it's in the. And pan. is that the same as like corn flour? Corn flour. You can use corn flour. You can use potato starch. Um, we use it in Chinese kitchens all the time. It's very, very versatile. Everyone should have corn flour or potato starch. So is that only? That's all that's on the outside. That's all that's on the outside. Oh, right. It's just uh, potato starch, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we, we use potato starch to crisp chicken up. We also use it for thickening sauces mm -hmm. and also for velveting, which is just basically tenderising beef or chicken. Oh, right. Yeah, there okay, you go. Very good. So we just plop these into a hot pan mm -hmm. and just shallow fry that for about six to eight minutes. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. yeah. My favourite. Mm. Mm. And in true Blue Peter style, I've got some ready-made chicken already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just going to swap hands out. I've done that I've shoved a massive bit in. I can't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not very good when you're on the deli. Um, We're enjoying it. Mm. So it is really good. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is the uh, cooked chicken after it's finished. And we're going to make the sauce now. So for a good... Uh, sweet and sour sauce. And you've got to have a hot wok. You've got to have a hot wok. It's essential you have a hot wok. If the wok's not hot, you won't get a good, tasty meal. Because you need that slightly smoky... Yeah, you need that slightly smoky, sort of yeah. caramelly taste to it. So, OK. Yeah. So what we have here is a wok. It's hot. It's got the oil in. We're going to add the vegetables in it, which is onions, some pe bell peppers, green and red. We're going to add some... Pineapples to it as well. Oh, pineapple! Yeah, everyone has pineapples in sweet and sour. Yeah. Do you have that where you're from as well? Or? I just use the sauce out there. <laughs> I just use the sauce out the jar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is proper. <laughs> this is the real deal. So you feel that sizzling away? All those vegetables just sizzling away. Yeah. And I'm going to add some cranberry juice to it. Oh. Yeah, nice cranberry juice. Give it that sweetness. Yeah, exactly. So this is one when he's. Uh, juices that I've made up myself. I, I use cranberry juice because it's um, got vitamin C in it, it's got antitoxins and it's nice and fruity and also it's got the red, red colouring, colouring that, yeah. that you'd have in a hot um, a Hong Kong sweet and sour chicken. Was it really healthy? It's, well, it's healthier than what you would probably get in a, a Chinese takeaway, yeah. So this is a, a great healthy bakeaway. Uh -huh. I love it. That is good. OK, so then what happens? So we add some sugar in it to give it the sweetness to it. Uh, not that healthy. <laughs> well, you can <laughs> also use sweetener. You can use sweetener as yeah. well. You can also use sweetener. But for the masses, people love sugar, so why and not also, have And like, also, you don't have sugar. to have it every day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's one of these treats you have once every two days. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, secondly, you have vinegar to add some vinegar to the dish as well. Yeah. Give it that sour taste. And then the secret ingredient you have for the Hong Kong mm -hmm. sweet chicken is obviously tomato ketchup. Mm, tomato yeah. ketchup, yeah, of course. Just stick some tomato ketchup mm. in it to add mm. to that sweet, savoury flavour to it. Could you spice that up if you wanted to? You could. I've never had spicy. You could. You could. I've never had spicy Hong Kong sweet and chicken. If you're having something spicy, maybe go for a Kung Pao chicken, which is slightly... Um, more spicy and, and tangy, but I've never put... You like your I, should, spice. I should try that, actually, oh, put that yeah. in a dish. Mm. like a kick. <laughs> a bit of a kick. But I do like this as well. And finally, so then the chicken goes back in. The chicken goes back in. And then afterwards, you just... The final step is you put the cornflour starch in. And that's what thickens it up and gives exactly. it that texture. Yeah, exactly. So what are you doing with it? Just stirring it up so it's a liquid. Yeah, so we call this um, a cornflour slurry. 
Yeah. So it's basically just corn flour or potato starch mixed in with water. Okay. And just put it into the dish and then stir away. And it's as simple as that? Simple as that. Now, you're about to do your one-minute challenge for us, aren't you? I think so, yeah. What are you cooking today? <laughs> Singapore rice noodles okay. is on the menu today. Well, once you've placed that up, we'll okay. go for it. OK, let's are go. Are you ready it. to do it? I think I am, I think okay. I am. Let's see who's plate this up. Just get, grab a plate here. Or you can always shove it on guys. our plates. <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'll just leave it. I'll just pop it here for you. OK. Here for and you. there you go. Look, and it's got that lovely shine. Look yeah. at like, that. Gorgeous. Nice glisten to that. Gorgeous. OK. Yep. So, Singapore noodles. Singapore noodles. In a minute. <laughs> Before I do that, I need to give you a couple of beverages as oh. well. I'll just give you a couple of beverages. Oh, proper oh, no, no sponsorship. Yeah. No sponsorship there we go. There. Thank you so <laughs> much. I'll just hide that. Oh, I uh, always oh. have one of these when I go to Glasgow. Oh, really? Oh, always. Yeah. 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 Everyone loves cheers the food. Cheers, you. Right, cheers. Cheers. OK, guys, you ready for this? Mm. Yeah? Ready. OK. Go for it, So, luck. right now, I'm going to do my 60-second Singapore noodles challenge. So, Singapore noodles in 60 seconds. Let's do this. Walk on. Oil in. Going to get some bean sprouts in. Oh, a lot of pressure. Oh, <laughs> some peppers. Onions. Some chilies in. 47. 47? Oh, God. <laughs> Some vermicelli noodles in. I'm going to add all these condiments in. I'm going to put dark soy sauce. Chuck the whole bowl in. There we go. <laughs> Light nearly, soy sauce nearly in. Nearly halfway. Nearly halfway. Fish You're sauce in. Well. You're doing well. <laughs> Some rice wine. Some fish sauce again. And just stir. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Here we go. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. Yeah. I need my own brew break first. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's always time for that. And finally, some curry powder, some chicken powder. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop there the door. And there it is. There you well go. done. Singapore noodles Singapore in a minute. Noodles. It's amazing what you there can you do go. in a minute. Wow, there you go. I'm really impressed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well done, thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice deal. I think we should probably try them, shouldn't we? Here you go. Hold on. Yeah, little... Jace. Oh little... God, this isn't going to be very elegant, but I'm going <laughs> to give it a go. Right. Hold on. Look one away. Minute, one minute noodles. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they're a bit hot. <laughs> they're really nice. I should have blamed. Well nice and hot. Thank nice you. And hot. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.